Welcome to this video where we're going to solve a challenge called Penalty Shootout on the 101 Computing.net blog. The web address of this blog post will appear on the video clip. Now for this challenge, we're going to write a little program where we're going to play against the computer trying to score a goal in a penalty kick situation. The idea is we're going to shoot the ball by telling the computer in which directions do we want to shoot and we will have a choice to make between the top left corner, the middle section of the goal, the top right, the bottom left or the bottom right. At the same time the computer will randomly pick one of those locations and then we're going to use if statement to compare if we picked the same location as the goal then the goal will have blocked the penalty kick, if not we will score one point and then we will repeat this five times uh, to try to score as many as we can over five penalty kicks. So let's have a look at the code. We've started the code for you. I'm going to zoom this so we can see a bit better. Now when I play this code so far, what we see here is the penalty shootout. Now here I don't have enough space to actually display it properly, so I'm going to resize my output window. That's it, so we can see the goal cage here with the two posts. This is just a header, like a banner, to display um, kind of a welcome message. Um, you can see in my code here, uh, we're importing the random library and we're going to use that later on for the computer to randomly decide where um, is the goalkeeper going to dive. And this is what's happening on line 13 and 14. On line 13 we've got a variable called options, which is a list of all the different options. Now these are code and basically this means top left, bottom left, middle, top right, bottom right. Um, this is where the computer is going to decide where the goal will actually dive. It's going to randomly select one value from that list of options. Okay, so that part is done. Um, obviously we're not telling the user where the goal is going to dive because that would be too easy. So if I scroll down a little bit more in my code, line 17. So to ask the user where do they want to shoot, we're going to use an input statement. Input where would you like to shoot and to make it easier we're going to put in bracket all the possible options so we've got tl bl m tr or br perfect uh, let's try this let's say oh no before i do that actually i'm going to actually store whatever the user is going to type into a new variable which i'm going to call user option user option equal uh, just before my input statement. So let's try this. Where would you like to shoot? TLBL. So I'm going to say I want to shoot top left. At this stage nothing happens because we still have to do uh, more of the code over there. So I'm going to scroll down up to the third section uh, to check if the goal blocked the ball or not. Now how will I know whether the goal blocked the ball? Well that will be using an if statement. If the computer option so where the goal is going to dive is the same as is equal to the user option. In that case, I'm going to write a message to the user saying um, the goal blocked the penalty kick. Okay, if not, so I'm going to use an else statement. So if the computer option is the same as the user option, that means the goal blocked it. Otherwise, uh, I'm going to print you have scored a goal. Perfect. So let's try this. Let's play it. Here we go. I'm going to go top left again you have scored one goal, perfect. And if I was to play that many times, um, it could be that the computer is going to block my uh, penalty kick. Now, I'm going to try one more time with the middle option maybe. No, I'm quite lucky here, I seems to always um, score a goal. Um, now, to make this a bit more fun, I'm going to actually um, 
repeat that process five times and I'm going to try to calculate the total score out of five gold cakes. Okay, so what I'm going to do to repeat this five times is I'm going to first initialize a variable called score and set it to zero and then I'm going to use a for loop to repeat all of my code five times. So for i in range from zero to five and I want all of my code here to repeat to belongs to that for loop. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight of all of my code and I'm going to press the tab key. Perfect. So it now belongs to the for loop because all of this code has been indented. You could do it line at one line at a time or you can highlight all of the code, press the tab key once and it will indent it for you. So if I try this, um, that's going to repeat this code five times. What I need to do is if I've scored a goal, then my score should go up by one. Now to go up by one, I'm using this operator plus equal one. And then I'm going to print um, your score plus, and I'm going to convert my score to a string so I can join it to this string here. So let's try this and see what happens. Where would you like to shoot? I'm going to go top left again. I have scored a goal, so I've got one point. Where would you like to go? I'm going to go bottom right. Score two. Where would you like to go? Top right. Ah, the goal blocked the penalty kick. Perfect. Where would you like to shoot? I'm going to go middle. Score three. Middle again. Score four. And that's it. Okay, it's four out of five basically because once was blocked by the goal kick. So then it stopped and that's it. Perfect. Well, we've done this challenge quite well. Um, there are a few extension tasks at the bottom here underneath the trinket. These are different ways you can make this game a bit more challenging to play. Uh, for instance, the goal could pick up two locations like um, so that it's harder to actually um, score a goal. There are other ways to um, extend this project even further, but that's not the purpose of this video. So I hope you enjoyed. Uh, you can start coding this penalty shootout game. You can use the video um, and do it again step by step, or you can try to do it all on your own um, if you feel like you can do it. Good luck with it and goodbye for now.